I'm back with a video. As you can see, I have all of my books. I have a pile, a pile of books. I have so many. So I finally organized my calendar for August. So I already have my book plan mapped up, like what books I'm gonna read. And that's in this box right here. So I have a few books. So that's gonna be secret for now because I'm probably gonna do a wrap up at the end of the month. Hopefully I will have read them all. <laughs> I also have a pile here of the books that I've read so far this year. I know three books, but I wasn't really trying before. Like these two I read like in the month, I think. And this one I just finished yesterday. Night Terror is really good. I really liked it. So far, it's my favorite supernatural book, but I've only read three, so we'll see. So I'll put that one aside. So for now, <laughs> this is gonna be something. I wanna organize my pile. The thing is, I don't have a bookshelf. <laughs> uh, it's under construction. It's not good. It's been like a year, two years, and it's still not done. It's fine. I'm just gonna let them live in a pile and I don't like it because I I really want to display them. <sighs> all my books are just in piles. So I want to organize them since they're all over the place. Some series are just mixed up. They're not really organized. I tried to organize them before by genre and I think that's what I'll do again but I'll just because before, I think I had the idea of organizing by genre, but also by what book I'm going to read, which doesn't work. That's why I have my box now. Like, these are going to book the books I'm reading this month. And this is just, I guess, my TBR since I haven't... I think I've read a few books in here, but... Oh, and this is the Sherlock Holmes book that I was talking about in ninth grade. That was, like, the first book I've read that was, like... A book I wanted to read just for fun it was this one and I really liked it I love Sherlock Holmes I started watching obviously the the newer Sherlock TV show with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin something I forgot his name <laughs> I watched the movies with um, Robert Downey Jr. And then I got a DVD for the old black and white version of Sherlock Holmes and I started watching those. I was really into it. So I had gotten this book and I also have another Sherlock Holmes, I have another Sherlock Holmes book in the pile. So I have like, you probably can't see it, but the pile goes all the way to the floor. There's one pile here, there's another pile, and then there's another pile here. So, it's like the mystery, murder mystery books, so I'll put that somewhere. I have Supernatural books, so this is actually my new one, so I'll put that in murder mystery as well. <laughs> Retribution Falls, group of misfits type of book, uh, action adventure, steampunk-ish, put that in somewhere else. Then I have... The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and The Girl Who Played With Fire. I haven't read these. They are used books that I bought and just fiction. But I really have no idea what these stories are about. I just got them because I heard of them and I wanted to read them. And when I got them, I got scared because they are huge. So I'll put that in, in its own little place. Um... Stephen King. I only have two Stephen King books so far. I'm planning on buying some more, maybe in October, but not sure. So I'll put that in horror, which might be weird of me to say. I don't think I've ever read a horror book before. I have read murder mystery books where like a detective is solving a murder but I've never read a horror where like a group of people are being killed and have to survive and this type of stuff. I'm really interested, but I've never read any, which is weird. It feels weird to say I've never read a whole genre of book. 
maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll, I can do a video where I review my first horror book. Maybe if you guys like that, comment. I actually read this book, American Assassin. I reviewed it uh, in school in 11th grade, I think. English class. <laughs> it was great. Um, it wasn't the best book ever. I actually did a Goodreads review where I kind of explain a little bit. I'll probably put it here somewhere, the screenshot of my review, but I liked it, but I just wish they would have give a little more character depth to other characters and kind of created chemistry between the characters. I'm not going to get into this. This is not a review. It's it's just like a killing spree book. I don't know. I'll put it in the whole thing. Instinct. I was currently reading it. I got stuck on it. Um, there was this part where it's not like it got emotional, but it, it hit close to home, I guess. I just, I don't really get emotional when I read books or in life, but it just made me feel ugh on the inside, so murder mystery, put it there. The Lightning Thief, I have uh, three Percy Jackson books. I have to find them, they're somewhere in here. Oh, yes. Titan's Curse. So we got two of them, and I have the Sea of Monsters. Yeah! I swear to God, my pile is gonna fall apart. Sea of Monsters, so... I got all three. I'm excited to read them. I haven't read them yet, and I would like to get, I think there's two other books in the series. So it would be fun to get all of them. So this pile is like I'll put them in the same pile as Retribution Falls I guess like a group of kids I don't know <laughs> um The Miseducation of Cameron Post I bought that at the same time as I bought uh, Lies They Tell Ourselves because I was looking for LGBT related books I haven't read it yet so I'll put it in its own pile Ship It again it's an LGBT book a girl who is in love with this show and then there's fan fictions about the show and this guy's being shipped with another guy and the guy in there is pretty homophobic about it but then he realizes his errors and stuff. I haven't read it yet but I was interested and it, now that I'm talking, I'm talking about the synopsis, it kind of reminds me of Fangirl even though I haven't read it. Five Feet Apart. So I was, mm, I'm planning on reading this, I don't know when, it's not, obviously it's not in my TBR for August, but um, planning on reading it and watching a movie and maybe comparing them or reviewing both, so that's definitely an idea that I have. It is, so Romance Pile, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, I have not read this, I want to read it. Um, I've heard a lot of bad things about it, but I'm not gonna let it slow me down. So I'll put that, I guess, with Percy Jackson. Another Stephen King, my last Stephen King, and it's the Dark Tower, it's a gunslinger. So I read a bit of it, but I don't remember, so I'm gonna have to reread it. Um, so I don't know if I'll put this, I guess I'll put it with the other Stephen King book, but I don't think it's a horror, so. And then I have this book, which is, it's a thick one, it's a big one. It's a French book, and it's a horror mystery book. Um, I read a bit of it, just a bit. And yes, my, um, what I used to keep track of my page was a paper straw thing. <laughs> because this was the book I read, when I first started working and I didn't have a car and my mom would have to drive me to the Tim Hortons and then I would grab this book and read and everyone would stare at me and think I'm weird. So I'll put that in the horror mystery. And I actually have another book uh, that's kind of in the series of this. I'll try to find it. Everything is falling apart. 
and I have the second one here. So they're, I don't know, one of them is about, I can't even remember. Like a guy murdered his family and they're trying to figure out why because it seems like he was like possessed. And then this one, someone that wakes up from a coma and stuff. So it, they seem really interesting. I found these two, they're really huge. Canadian Tire. <laughs> yeah, best place in the, in the world to find books. <laughs> Not in a thousand years would I buy these. Um, they were given to me by my stepsister for like Christmas and stuff. So this one called Wings, it's about there's a girl who's a fairy, I guess. So I, I was pretty interested because I've never read like a fantastical story like this where there's fairies and stuff. In case you missed it, I have no idea what this is about. So this seems actually pretty interesting now that I'm reading it. It's like someone hacks into her photos or emails or texts and everything is out and everyone can see it and her friends are super mad at her and she doesn't want to show up at school. So it seems like a small little read and it seems like it's fun. This could be a contemporary, but the main plot is not a romance. I'll put it in a separate thing. Then I have The Maze Runner and The Scorch Trials, but wait a second. I have also the entire box set. <laughs> so like I said in my um, researching of the Raven Boys video, I have the entire box set and it's still in the plastic. Uh, I haven't opened it because <laughs> I actually had started buying the books just loose like this. Um, I actually, I think in seventh or eighth grade, I started reading like 50 pages of The Maze Runner and I haven't finished it. And I wanted to read The Scorch Trials before I saw the movie, so I haven't even seen the, la the last few movies because I wanted to read them first. So, maybe next month i'll read the maze runner if you guys want and i can compare them to the movies or just review them so that's always fun <laughs> i'm probably gonna end up giving these away or something so i guess i'll put this with the lightning thief <laughs> and then i got this book pretty recently us against you it was recommended at chapter so i decided to get it it seemed pretty interesting. It's about a group of uh, hockey players in a small town. I, I guess it could, this could be contemporary. Because I don't think... I think there's also a mystery that happens in this. I guess I can put, put it with this book because I have no idea what they're about and I think they're contemporaries. Oh, I have another supernatural book, Carved in Flesh. I actually read this. I liked it at the time I was like, oh my god, this is my favorite supernatural book, and now I'm like, my tarot's better, but it's still very good. And it's thinner. I grabbed it, I was like, wow, it's small compared to my tarot, but it's really good. I really liked it. They make science because of science with alchemy, and I thought that was really nice. So I'll put that with murder mystery. Then get ready, y'all. I have the in <laughs> I have this set of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid in French because of course I have it in French. I have all of them except for two and nine, ten, and I think they made others. So I probably am missing like twelve or thirteen or whatever. How many books they have now? So I have all of these because of course I do last one is in english and it's a hardcover and all of my other ones are like paperbacks i don't know i got it for christmas because my entire family knows i'm collecting them and even though i haven't read the last few ones or not even the entire thing i'm still co gonna collect them because they are my childhood i used to only like reading these and um i don't know what they're called but like a series of like kids books like the go girls i think I'll try to find them. But that's like going in a separate thing. Oh. oh, my Sherlock Holmes book. So this one actually is a 
is based off specifically of this show with Benedict Cumberbatch and Mar Martin something. A bunch of little adventures. So I was really interested. I actually got this at the same time, I think, as my other Sherlock Holmes the uh, thinking engine so that's going in murder mystery as well then i have my driving test book i have a dictionary of synonyms and antonyms more dictionary stuff i have an actual dictionary i have more things about school i have an anxiety book in french oh my god my mom actually got this for me when i was suffering from very bad anxiety all of these are going in a pile together. I got this book, Loves You by PewDiePie. Um, I bought it used and it's really gross. It has like coffee stains all over it, but that's fine. I bought it because I just wanted to see what's in it. Most of it is pictures and quotes. I thought it was going to be like a biography, but I have a few books from... Um, Raina Helgemeier? Helgemeier? From Rena. I'll call her Rena. So I wanted to get the entire babysitting club thing. So that's also the books from my childhood. Literally. So this was my first book I've ever got from her. Of course, they're in French, except the second one drama. So. I mean, it says smile in English. This was my first book ever from her. I loved it. It's like in the style of like a comic, I guess, but it's really good. All of her books are like for growing like preteens, I would say, and they're super fun to read. And they all have like it, their little meanings and their little themes and they're all very nice i don't know it just she enters high school in this and it, it was really reminiscent to me when i entered high school and then there's here the babysitting club where she started babysitting with her friends because making money is fun and i wanted to get the entire set this one's the fourth one i don't i have the fourth one i guess it was the only one they had at walmart but I am planning on getting, in the series of these books, there's another one called Sisters, I believe. So I'm probably going to get that one some other day. I, I want to get it just because it's like reminiscence of my childhood, but I don't think I would actually read it. Maybe someday if I don't feel like actually reading a book or I'm in the sum for a month or something, I'll probably get it. That one's going to go in my childhood books. <laughs> And then, oh my god, I found them! So I have all of these. So basically, they're pretty much all kids' books. That, talking about the Go Girl series, it's, it's actually these. So I really love them. At the time, it was pretty much all I loved to read was these. And they're so reminiscent of my childhood. It's like these huge texts with like, it's about just girls being girls and overcoming stressful situations and I liked it. It was nice. I'm putting them in my childhood book section. I'm keeping them forever. <laughs> I never read this. I don't know what this is. A commission adoption books. I think, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> I have four. <laughs> it's about little dogs who get adopted. Childhood book section. And then same thing with this. It's about a wolf. Like a good story at the time because it's like about acceptance and being nice to people and that was nice. And then I never read this, but it's another kid's book. Oh my gosh, and then I have another book about anxiety and phobias. <laughs> so that's it. That that's what was in my box. Um, I have all the books in front of me all piled up and I'm gonna have to place them in order. I think I, I have like so far three romance books. Um, I have quite a few murder mysteries, quite a few action adventure. Um, I have a little bit of LGBT books, 
a lot of dictionaries. I think I only have like two or three contemporaries. I have a huge pile of kids books. So I can't wait to grow my collection. So I'm gonna show you all of my books here and I'm gonna show you my bookshelf just so you know that it's a rough, it's a hard knock life, you know, for a book reader. So ignore my messy floor. So this one's the pile of kids books. All of these. Then I have my LGBT books. And then I have, I don't know what these books are about. And then I have my Maze Runners and Percy Jackson and others. And then I have my Murder Mysteries. And then I have Stephen King. And then I have Killing, I guess, book. <laughs> Romance. Fantastical. Books I've read so far this year. Um, maybe contemporaries, but I don't know. And right over you can't see it it's uh, the books i'm reading this month here is my uh set to film this video <laughs> that's it that's all my books i'm gonna have to fit them back in here and this is my bookshelf ignore the ladder this is supposed to be my bookshelf so yeah so thanks for watching this video i know it wasn't like super great and <laughs> it was i think it might have been pretty long but I had a lot of fun and it helped me get organized and at the same time it's like a little update that I have books set up for in August and I'm planning to do a wrap up and maybe a couple other ideas but I'm open for subjects subjects <laughs> I'm 